Hello everybody. So we've got this Wonder Building Kit by Elect Freaks. And it says 20 in 1, but they actually give you, um, it's now marketed as 32 in 1 because they've added 12 more models to their uh, wiki on what you can build. Now, you could just start, you know, going to their wiki and just start grabbing the parts and start building. But I think what you want to do first really is explore the board that runs it. It is the Wukong expansion board, and it's got a lot of a lot of nice features. Um, it the brain up for it is a micro bit, so you gotta have a micro bit. Micro bit. It can be version one or version two. It doesn't matter. Um, but again, they've got a wiki for it too. So I'll just tell you some of the things um, that it's got and show you, and then we'll get to uh, look at the wiki, and then we'll get to coding some. So you plug the micro bit in here, and it faces this way. So the front of it faces to the little side. Um, it's got four LEDs, so they're RGB LEDs, so you can play with some color. Um, you plug the micro bit in here. It has eight. Um, we'll go over here. Let's go eight places to plug in servos, and those are actually designated for servos. So in the coding. It's going to say servo 0, servo 1, servo 7 kind of thing. And then it's got these other pins that pin outs over here. And that's for port 0, 1, 2, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15 on the micro bit. They say it right there. And then it's got some 5 volt pins. It has two motor ports. And then it has an I squared C port, plug, setup, whatever you want to call it. For an I squared I squared C device, um, this is for recharging the lithium ion battery. It kind of comes connected to this Lego kind of block, building block, and you can take it off if you want. But it's kind of like the whole idea behind the kit is you build out with it. Um, so that's why we kind of leave it there. That is the on/off switch. It's actually a push button switch. Push once on, push twice for off. Um, the other thing it has is you can't, they're hard to see on, on a video, but there's these little LEDs they've got. You know, little one color LEDs they got for some uh, atmosphere kind of uh, look to it. They kind of glow for you uh, just to make it look cool, right? Uh, so, micro bit. Wukong Expansion Board. Now let's jump over to uh, the website. So again, you, you bought this 32 in 1 because they've got, you know, I actually think they have 34 models now. Um, and you could just, you know, scroll down. You should scroll down and look at all the things they talk about. Learn about it. Go through it. It's a pretty, you know, they've got a lot of information here. And then they're going to have a place here that says Learn. And then they've got That'll get you to this wiki, which gives you descriptions on how to build out the models. And you could just start building the models and just go with that. But I think you might want to explore what the, how to code this a little bit, what it can do. Um, let's go down. How many has it got? Nope, 32. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, the, you go to, go to their site, their page that has the Wukong expansion board, and go through that page. Look at it. Read it. Um, find out the information about it that, that you are going to need. And yes, they're going to have a place that says learn. Oh, look, you can plug all these things into it. You don't have all those things in the kit. But you can buy all those things, right? Um, this is the little, it glows blue to make it look ambient light kind of thing. Um, yes, they will have a place down here that says learn, which is a little wiki. It's got you know, more information, and then it'll walk you through coding um, the different aspects of it. And it'll give you some sample codes, too. So that's what we're going to play with a little bit right now. All right, so we've got a make code, and it's already here, but I'll show you. You need to get the Wukong extension. So you go to extensions, and you search Wukong. And you click on that, and it brings up this extension. It also brings in NeoPixels because there are some NeoPixels there. Okay, let me just throw this.
this stuff off here. Okay, I'm gonna go away. Uh, so let's look at lights. So set light mode to breathe. Are you trying to shock the lights? Um, it's only breathe or off. So there's not a lot of options. I wish there was more we could play with on that, but that is what it is. So let's put it here and let's uh, turn them off in a moment. So let's go get some pause. Let's pause it for half a second. And then let's turn it off. Turn the breathing off. Let's actually go longer. Let's put that in a loop. I mean, here's all the, you know, the things you can do. No, I don't want that. Loops. Let's repeat that a few times. All right. Now, because I'm playing with lights, let's play with the LEDs, the NeoPixels. All right, NeoPixels. So you grab this thing called NeoPixels. Um, since I've done it a second time, and it wants to know the name. Again, this is a variable. You can change the name of it. And we are on pin 16. The NeoPixels are plugged into pin 16. So we have to tell uh, the micro bit that. And we have to tell it we have four NeoPixels. Those are the LEDs on top. They're called LED0, LED1, LED2, and LED3. And you're just going to... Right now we're just going to play with all four of them. Do, 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 do. So let's do something with them. Let's have it just show a color. Sound good? Yeah, let's actually put that outside. Um, and then, oh yeah, let's, let's pause and then let's make it do a different color. Not a lot of their models um, had playing with the color. So uh, I just copy and paste it. So let's go red, then purple. Okay. And let's put that pause in. Pause is a very important element always. So, all right, let's see. So I set up the pin 16 for the LEDs. I said there's four. We're going to let it breathe. Let's do the breathing lights. And then we're going to just have the, the NeoPixels go uh, red, then purple. And just leave that in forever loop. I mean, we, we could do it on button A, on button B. We're just trying to see uh, some of the code here. Let's look here again. We got motors. Yeah, that's the only thing for light. Oh, you can change the intensity of the light. That's percent. And this mechanum thing is for something different. And then there's some NeoPixel stuff you're going to want to play with eventually. So, alrighty. So now, let's plug our micro bit in. I'm working on it. Plugged in. I'm looking down here. When it flips to this, it says it's connected. I mean, if it's not, you know, you want to use this to connect to the micro bit so you can download directly to the micro bit. And again, when you click download, that little yellow light on the back should flash a bit saying, hey, I'm getting some code. Um, so it's thinking and it's downloaded. Okay, so we're going to take it. Let's go back to camera. Uh, webcam. Alrighty, and again, we're going to plug it in here, facing this way. We're going to press the on button once, and that's the... The breathe lights are going on and off. They, they kind of light up, and then down, and then off, and then our NeoPixels are changing color from red to purple. And it says purple longer because here's what happens. It's got to go through that that loop of doing this four times before it goes to red. And it's only red for half a second. And then it's purple for half a second. Then it goes back to the top of the forever. But it's got to go through four cycles of this before it gets to the red. So there's playing with, you know, using lights. Uh, the basic idea of using lights. Again, this is only for charging. This is not for talking to the micro bit. You have to code it by plugging into the micro bit. And then again, double click is off. So there's the beginning, getting some lights. Talk to you later.